This is verse 3 of the fifth chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. We are at the very beginning of the sermon that is called the Sermon on the Mount, and Jesus gives what really in some commentators' minds represents the thesis statement for the entire sermon. As he starts off, uh, makarioi, this is from makarios, it's an adjective. Uh, it means uh, usually translated happy or blessed. It uh, really represents that state of uh, of satisfaction. Uh, so the word generally had to do with the notion of having reached a state in which you're content, you're satisfied, you're happy. Not in a superficial sense, but really in a deep sense of simply a well-being. And so that's the word Jesus uses here. So uh, happy or blessed. And then... Uh, uh, those who qualify for that description are hoi, the masculine, singular, plural, article, the, and then tokhoi. It's a word for poor or being in a state of poverty. There's actually two words in the Greek language that both have to do with uh, poverty. One, however, you might call, uh, describes more the working poor, the people who work uh, and make a uh, a little bit of a living and are able to scrape by on that basis and then this word is reserved for those who are really reduced to the state of begging. Uh, they really don't have any means of income whatsoever except what may come as a result of the compassion, the uh, pity of uh, others. And Jesus uses that very uh, strong word to describe those that he has in mind here. So blessed the poor or poverty stricken but, of course, he qualifies that, not meaning poverty-stricken in a literal sense, as in your physical or human situation, but rather in your inmost uh, self-consciousness, in uh, our to pneumati, uh, with respect to, this is the dative of means, so you're poor, with respect to the spirit. Uh, which means, of course, that a person may be poor with respect to the spirit and at the same time be uh, wealthy externally, but uh, that's the kind of person that may be wealthy. You never know it by meeting them, you know. They have uh, a deep sense of uh, their own humility, you might say, that just comes through. And that really is the notion here that uh, probably Jesus has in mind that all of us are poverty-stricken when it comes to our status before God utterly dependent on grace, and so those who really recognize that in the deepest confines of their self-consciousness are those who have really achieved happiness. Uh, otherwise, there's a kind of grasping uh, to life that uh, would dominate such a person. So, uh, blessed are the poor with respect to the spirit, and then the uh, reason for that is hoti, conjunction, here it means because, and then outone, the possessive pronoun, uh, this is the genitive plural, so because of them, putting this up front to give it a bit of emphasis, of them, esten, uh, third person singular of Amy, I am, so of them is, and then he, the feminine article in the nominative, he, basileia, it's in the nominative, because it's the predicate nominative going along with esten, because of them is he, basileia, the kingdom, and then in the plural, tone, the genitive plural, or renown of the heavens, uh, typically rendered as the kingdom of heaven, and uh, more or less uh, synonymous, of course, with what otherwise is expressed as the kingdom of God. It's really the main theme of all of Jesus' uh, preaching and teaching, the kingdom of God. It's the single most frequently recurring theme. And so as if to announce here that uh, those who are uh, the possessors of the kingdom of God are those who are at the same time possessed of a deep sense of their own poverty. That uh, if there's something other than that sense of poverty, then uh, they may have something of this world's goods or be grasping after it, but they have at the same time forfeited the most valuable thing of all, which would be that which Jesus uh, preaches on most frequently, namely the great benefit that God provides, commonly called the kingdom of heaven.